95 cựu chiến binh đang trên máy bay từ Washington DC trở về San Diego International Airport. Kính thưa quý vị, những cựu chiến binh này đã được huy chương Purple Heart hoặc là cao hơn vì họ đã từng hy sinh trong chiến tranh. Và trong chuyến bay này thì những người đó là những veteran của Việt Nam, có nghĩa là họ đã từng tham gia trong chiến tranh của Việt Nam. Mr. Brewer, so yes. you were on our show just previously, yes, uh, yes, and I'm now you are back from the I'm trip. Back from amazing trip, yes. Can you please share with us your experience there, and what are your thoughts? Well, it was an amazing uh, two days. Uh, I'm trying to hold your hand. No. Sure, I'll hold my hand. <laughs> it was an amazing two days. Um, very meaningful. Very emotional at times. Uh, when all of us went to the wall, it was extremely uh, moving. And um, and then to come home to this is just uh, incredible. It's been 52 years since I served in Vietnam, but um, this welcome home and to see all the members of the Vietnamese community here and to see how emotional they are and what it means to them uh, for us to be here is it, it, it's just incredible. It is, it is definitely an incredible event of me watching it. It's emotional for me because yes. it did bring back a lot of memories from my days growing up and see all these handsome American boys <laughs> in Vietnam. Now, um, I want to ask you, and it's a little bit maybe bring back some memories. I know that the welcoming that came back when you came back or some of the veterans came back back then was not exactly like this. <laughs> did this make up for it? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. It's it's late. <laughs> it was 52 years late, but it makes up for it in part. But what we what we went through when we came home in the 70s was very difficult. With us is Mr. Granger. He is a prisoner of war in Vietnam, but today he is a volunteer with Honor Flight San Diego. Now, Mr. Granger, why did you choose not to be on that airplane? Because I know you were invited, and why did you choose to be a volunteer instead? I wanted to give back to the veterans who didn't get a really good welcome home when they came here uh, during after the war or during the war. And this is my way of thanking them and this is San Diego's way of thanking all of them that they, uh, they, they sacrificed, they came home to not friendly people and now that's changed and it's a great homecoming. And to see the beautiful family here who have come from so far in such hard times uh, it made them and me understand what what we were able to do instead of what we thought we were doing what I think is amazing is the fact that you want to give back when you yourself gave so much and I think extending extending beyond that you were a prisoner of war I understand until 1972 Correct, yeah. would you share a little bit about that experience 
Well, I was uh, in December of 1972. I was shot down uh, and called linebacker two in a B-52, uh, trying to end the war, and uh, we did. I mean, that was the end. That was the last big bombing. I was shot down on December 20th, and then I was uh, cut out free flights in uh, March 29th, 1973. And there at that time was spent in Hanoi Hilton as well as some other places uh, imprisonment. That's it. And I came home and then I started flying again. So you were a pilot? Yes, I was a pilot uh -huh. in, in B-52s and then I flew in the Air Force for seven years and then I got out and become a commercial pilot. Well, I have a feeling that we are blessed that you existed, that you went through your experience, and how positive you are that you took that experience and turned it into something that continued to really enhance people's lives. I can see that when you are talking to the veterans, I can see that when you are here, taking care of them, talking to them, and just what you're saying right now, and we appreciate you. I hope that you did feel that through all those years that you came back, even though that welcoming years ago may not have felt that way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that, and uh, it's, it's my pleasure. It's my honor to do it, and that's, that's, the, that's the truth. As you see with me are two uh, Marines that are not obviously the veterans that just came down from those stairs. However, you being here, how does it make you feel seeing our veterans from the past being honored and where you are today? Um, I feel honored being here today and I feel very proud that I get to be part of this and to honor our uh, Vietnam veterans. Now what made you both decided to join the military? I mean this is a country that's like a lot of freedom here and you have a lot of choices. Why make this choice? Um, to be honest, we're kind of forced to but now that we've been through the training, it's uh, an honor to be with the young Marines. And the contribution you will make to this country and how it's going to build you as young men for the future, I think it's going to be phenomenal. And this is a great experience to see how much you are appreciated. This is Dr. Fa. He's actually been a part of the organization for quite a long time and have participated in many of these homecoming events. But this time it is special for us because it's specifically of Vietnam veterans. How do you feel and what are the difference between those other flights that you welcome home and this one in particular for you? I actually have done more than just uh, come to the welcome home. I've actually gone on the flights. This is my eighth flight with Honor Flight since 2013. Um, each flight is special on its own but the fact that these are Vietnam War veterans who sacrificed and served to fight for our freedom as Vietnamese Americans and they are, they are the reason that we're here um, makes it even more rewarding. I was given this pin here by a, um, by a uh, army uh, soldier who was patrolling the rice paddies. He wore this pin during all of his battles in Vietnam. He put it away uh, when he came back to America and after I told him who I was and I told him my story he gifted it to me as and he said that by giving it to me a successful Vietnamese American it helped him heal that meant so much to me brought me to tears and that is typical of what happened this weekend so this flight will go down as probably the most special flight that I've ever been on so welcome back you just came back from that flight. Share with us what your thoughts are. I don't think I can. I'll just cry. This has been an incredible experience for me. And I, I, can't, uh, I can't tell you. But there's no way I can tell you how much it meant. It was so, so nice. It just, thank you.
That's all I can say. Thank you. Now you went and visit some of the memorial, yes. right? Yes. And seeing those personnel's name there, names there, um, throughout the different memorial and throughout the different wars as well, how did that make you feel? It didn't really change my thoughts. I've seen that before. I've been there before. I know that thousands of men and women have gone to war on behalf of this country. So that didn't change my thought process. Mm -hmm. And so then there's the Korean War. Yes. There's the World War. My dad the was Vietnam there, by the war. way. My dad was there. His name was on there? No, but he was at the Korean he was At the Korean War. Right, he served. Uh -huh. So all the different wars that has occurred, what do you think is the one common thing that ties all the veterans together? Belief in this country. That was part of the theme the other night. Mm -hmm. Belief in the United States. Absolutely. There are so many ugly things said about it in the last few years. That's why this, more than anything else, is overwhelming because some of what they said I know was wrong. And there are problems with the country, but not as, it, that's, it's too fine a country to be criticized that way. That's all. Absolutely. Now here's a young man that got to accompany them over there, right? Yes, ma'am. Tell me your thought as a young person and have you experienced any war at all? No, ma'am. I definitely cannot imagine how Mr. Hawkins felt when the Vietnam War broke out because I didn't have to get drafted. I didn't have to go onto the battlefield. And I just think it's so valiant that all of the veterans went out and served their country. And it's the reason why I can be free now. So, thank you, sir. Um, and tell me, how are you involved in the organization? What brought you here? My parents have been in this organization for quite a while now. I've been attending almost every single Honor Flight event, except the flights. I've been at the Welcome Homes and the Spirit of 45s, but it's the first time that I've been a guardian, and so it really means a lot to finally be a guardian and really give back to all of our wonderful veterans. You quý vị đã thấy dù lời cảm ơn đến 50 năm sau, nhưng nó vẫn mang đến nụ cười và sự hạnh phúc cho các cựu chiến binh đã có mặt ngày hôm nay. Vậy thì thay mặt VNTV, Ánh Hương xin chân thành gửi lời cảm ơn tới tất cả lính Mỹ cũng như lính Việt Nam đã vì tự do và hòa bình hy sinh cho đất nước trong những năm qua. Xin kính chào quý vị.